become a celebrity star Jill Scott has jetted off to the land down under for a few weeks of uncomfortable sleep and unenviable food rations. The former England international, 35, is sure to be missing her cosy Manchester home as she ditched her creature comforts for creepy crawlies in the Australian jungle. Jill, who retired from professional football during the summer, lives in a beautiful house in the leafy suburb of North Enden with her partner Shelley Unnett who runs a coffee shop called Box 2 Box. The lioness has swapped hot showers in her newly renovated bathroom for quick splashes under the jungle waterfall as she gets settled into her new home in the Australian bush. Ahead of her appearance in the hit high TV show, Jill said she'd only ever come across creepy crawlies when cleaning her bathroom and wasn't sure how she'd react to the nasties that lurk in the Aussie outback. I have never really been confronted by snakes and spiders in England so I don't know how I will react to them, apart from a spider in the bath every now and then, she joked. Before her jungle stint, Jill would often give her Instagram fans glimpses into her and Shelley's home, sharing snippets of her private life inside their modern property. Jill has kept the decor light and airy with lots of white and grey tones. The football star has shied away from colour and instead opted to keep her rooms as fresh and bright as possible, with little splashes of pastel used sparing. She recently posted a collage of snaps from inside her property, where fans were given a look inside her living room. Two large light grey sofas could be seen lining two walls and were perfectly positioned for watching football on the telly which sat on the wall above a built-in unit. Keeping the theme as minimal as possible, Jill kept her ornaments, photographs and trinkets to a minimum on a pair of white floating shelves while she placed some grey modern art canvases on the wall opposite the TV for some interest and depth. Elsewhere, the kitchen followed a similar theme, with snaps on the sporting star's social media showing a series of white cabinets with a grey workup and small upstand and chrome fixtures. A large grey clock adorned the wall next to the dining table which shares the same room as the kitchen. A cluster of three glass pendant light could be seen hung over the white dining table to provide some mood lighting to the couple's evening meals. Upstairs, Jill and Shelley's bedroom provides a small injection of color as pictures revealed a statement feature wall of pastel pink and grey abstract wallpaper had been hung. The room doesn't shy away from the light and airy theme, however, as the remaining walls were still painted white and all the furniture in the boudoir was white too. Light pink sheets and a scattering of decorative pillows made the bed look cozy and inviting and a pastel pink bean bag sat in the corner of the room to provide additional chill-out space. A wall-to-wall -wall dressing table under two windows provides the couple with the perfect spot to get glammed up in natural lighting and a grey shag rug added an extra cozy note to the space. Outside, the couple have ample space for entertaining and for their dog to stretch its legs. A decking area could be seen leading out to a patch of artificial grass and a pergola beyond, where the pair can entertain and enjoy the warmer months. The glimpse inside the former England footballer's home comes after Jill told the Mirror that she would have no problem getting some shot tie in the jungle, after years of sofa surfing when she first made her way as a football star. Jill had to regularly make the 170-mile journey from her native Sunderland to Everton after she signed for Everton Ladies in 2006, but at times she would try to stay on her teammates' sofas to save money on petrol, before the day's female footballers were paid to play the game. Jill now has the ability to sleep anywhere after years of bedding down on couches, which will stand her in good stead to sleep outside on a hammock after she was seen heading into the ITV show's Australian camp on Sunday night.
Jill said, When I first started there was a lot of traveling and we didn't get paid to play football, so a lot of the time you were covering your own expenses. I should have had shares in petrol back then. But back then you could put £5 petrol in and that would probably get you up the motorway. It wouldn't nowadays. But I feel so fortunate that I've actually lived the journey of the game and made so many good friends. Because back then it was like, can someone let us sleep on the sofa? I've got training tonight. It was literally like that, but you made such good friendships through that. The friends that I have now that I've made later on in the game. There's a massive opportunity there now that players can play full-time and have careers. I think that's a fantastic thing. Speaking about sofa surfing, she said, I was poorly quite a lot of the time and now I think I know why. I would always get my sleep, because I can sleep anywhere and that's probably why, because I got used to it. But eating as well. It'd be stopping at the services and just grabbing anything. Some of the food I've eaten, like a Dairy Lee Lunchable just to get some energy. I was ill quite a lot. I'm touching wood right now because I think in the last 8 years of playing for City I've only been unavailable for one game. It's the coffee, it helps your immune system as well. Read more Emma Celebrity. Get me out of here. 2022 IAC set, fake jungle and secret truth IAC hit with Ofcom complaints on Hancock sign up to our Emma Celeb newsletter hosts don't talk to stars before trials.